Hi, in the last video I have shown you how you can build your own media server using Jellyfin. After that video many of you have wanted to know how you can configure the server to get uh, access of all your movies and TV shows using uh, remote network. So in this video I am going to show you how you can uh, configure your server so that you can uh, access all your movies and TV shows from anywhere in the world. So if you haven't watched the last video. Uh, please uh, watch the video from the i button uh, this is a sequel of that video so please uh, watch that video and then uh, move forward to this one so without wasting any more time let's get started so now we are into our machine and uh, let's configure the server so in the last video i had shown the configuration of the server using the windows pc so today i will uh, configure the jellyfin server on the remote device for example um, i'll do this on this mac so let's go to a browser let's go to safari and new window then uh, we will move on to the uh, our server as we uh, had shown in the last video we'll uh, type the ip address of our pc that we have uh, set up the jellyfin server and then uh, 8096 for default port number so let's uh, go into the server and yes this is our server so let's go to the uh, human icon here press here and then uh, scroll down and you will see there is uh, a part called administration so let's go to the dashboard here and then we'll go to networking part here so uh, after going to networking you can see local HTTP uh, port number so we can uh, uh, configure two ports here one is for HTTP and another is HTTPS so the difference between HTTP and HTTPS is HTTPS is more secured but as this is our media server we don't need uh, this to be uh, that much secured so uh, we will just uh, forward the HTTP port here so let's forward a uh, custom port here uh, because uh, a lot of uh, Jellyfin server is already set up with this port number 8096 so uh, for our case we will use uh, a port called 9000 because that is a huge number and the default ports like FTP server, uh, HTTP and other ports uh, don't use that port so uh, we will use 9000 here and we won't use the HTTPS so let's not uh, give a check mark here and then scroll down and uh, you will see here remote access settings so we must turn on this one allow remote connection to this server otherwise it won't um, access to the remote server here we can see public HTTP port number so we will also uh, set this to 9000 and HTTP uh, is doesn't matter here so let's uh, move on to the last part and save here so click on save and then we have to restart our server so for this purpose uh, we have to go to our remote pc here let's click on continue okay then go to the taskbar here uh, as i had shown you earlier in the last video and here is the jellyfin tray app so right click on this one and then uh, you can see stop jellyfin here so click on stop jellyfin and then do it again and click on start jellyfin so if we do this our server will be restarted and hopefully all the settings will be saved here so let's uh, close this and check it out in the safari I mean the remote device so instead of giving 8096 here we will give 9000 here and press enter so here it is asking to uh, uh, select a server here uh, so if you encounter this problem just click on here left click and then press on delete so after that uh, go to the same website again and press enter 
and you will uh, prom uh, have a prompt here to give your username and password press sign in okay so we are into our server and our uh, port number is already changed to 9000 so now we can move on to our port forwarding so for port forwarding you have to go to your router admin panel so to go to your router admin panel you have to know the default gateway of your router if you are using some kind of tp link or uh, tinder or uh, some other kind of um, global routers then the ip address of your router or default gateway of your router will be 192.168.0.1 and if uh, it's not uh, the global routers then for example the uh, chinese xiaomi routers or others then uh, it will be like 192.168.31.1 or something like that so if you are unsure of your ip address of the uh, router uh, you can uh, do one thing convert your ip address into the default gateway for example, uh, if your uh, laptop IP address that you are using in Jellyfin, uh, for mine, this is uh, 192.168.0.167. For most cases, the default gateway of the router is uh, the first IP address. So, uh, replace the last part here, uh, which is 167 here, and replace it with 1. So, my router IP will be 192 dot one six eight dot zero dot one and press enter so my router uh, is tender and if you are using tp link it will be also uh, this same ip address so let's log into your uh, router with the admin password of your router so for default it is admin but i have changed my uh, router password so something else so let's put it on and yeah I am logged in so after logging in uh, you have to go to the uh, advanced settings for uh, other routers like TP-Link uh, it will be in the uh, port forwarding section I will attach a uh, document regarding port forwarding in the description so you can take help from there so uh, let it be port forwarding or virtual server the process is more or less the same it's just uh, for my tender router go to the virtual server then uh, i have already set up the uh, port forwarding here let's delete this okay so uh, what we have to do is uh, for internal ip address we have to put 192.168.0.1 167 which is our uh, pc um, ip address or the uh, jellyfin servers ip address then we have to give the lan port and one port for both the ports uh, you will see in the virtual server or the port forwarding menu they will be the same so let's put 9000 here which is our ip address uh, so the port number we have uh, custom port we have set in the uh, server configuration menu and then the one port will be will also be the same and then the protocol will be tcp and udp and let's uh, hit plus new here and yes that's it now your port forwarding is done but here is the catch uh, if you don't have any real ip this won't work because if you are using a shared ip uh, or the dynamic ip the ip address uh, gets changed in every startup of your router which is why you cannot port forward on a dynamic ip if you have a real ip or dedicated ip then it won't be a problem but there might be a problem with the real IP also if your ISP don't open the port that you are using for example the 9000 one then uh, it won't work but uh, my ISP has opened all the ports in my IP so mine works perfectly so let's uh, now check uh, if the uh, port works or not so for checking purpose we will go to one website which is open port 
check and hit enter okay so this one portchecker.co and let's go to this website now this is our ip address which is my dedicated ip or real ip through this ip i will be using my jellyfin server from anywhere in the world so let's now put the port number here which is 9000 and click on check and yes the port 9000 is open if it shows that the port is closed then uh, you won't be able to uh, access the server from outside your home network for that purpose you have to uh, ask your isp to open the port uh, in for your ip address so now let's check uh, if the server works outside the network or not let's uh, check with this ip address and for 9000 port okay the same problem arrived here let's delete this and try it again and yes uh, it is uh, asking for the username and password let's sign in not now okay and we are able to access our server outside the network using our public ip so let's uh, play something yes it is working perfectly so if you want to be more confident uh, what you can do is connect your uh, pc or the remote device to the uh, remote network because it is also my home network uh, is still my home network here so i will turn on my personal hotspot from the phone and then connect it to the uh, mac and let's try if it works or not so i have turned on my hotspot here and yes huawei p20 pro i have connected this and now let's take a look here and yes it is working perfectly so now let's uh, try to play a video here if uh, that works or not i guess it is working yes it is working uh, perfectly let's mute for the uh, copyright purpose uh, okay so it is working exactly uh, the same as the home network so whenever you will need to access the server from remote device then uh, you will need your ip address which is your public ip address to know your public ip address go to uh, google.com or search in your google search uh, and type my ip and hit enter and it will show your ip uh, in the search result in the uh, very first of your search result for me this is my ip address i am blurring uh, this part because this is a secret ip address because if you if someone knows your ip address then uh, anyone can attack on your uh, pc so put this ip in in the browser or the app uh, where you are using the jellyfin from and then uh, give a colon and use the port number that you have specified in the uh, server settings and that's it uh, you will be able to access the server from anywhere in the world so that's it for this video if you like this video give a thumbs up and stay connected for more videos like this i will see you in another video till then goodbye